This is, uh, we have some folks from Uptake here. Yes. Yeah. Uh, would, uh, I know you're running a camera, but I'd like you, if you would mind, could you go over to the microphone and ask a question? Sure. Um, I want to make sure I've got this right. Uh, this is cell phone video uh, that you guys uh, put up live on the internet, true? Correct. Um, and in a minute you'll see there's actually a double screen. You've actually got two cell phones feeding into a feed um, and you're, you're, um, you're live. And uh, let me just uh, forewarn everyone that you'll hear some profanity on here as uh, they are surprised, I think. Um, give us a couple of sentences on Uptake. Just tell us who you are and, and what you do, just for anyone that doesn't know. We are a citizen journalism nonprofit. Uh, we train and distribute the work of citizen journalists on uh, the internet. And What's a citizen journalist? Um, that's a good question. Yeah, how much time do we have? Um, Not that we, we What's actually, a citizen journalist? Well, we, <laughs> we uh, basically a person that's uh, committing an act of journalism uh, for the internet. Committing an act of journalism. Right. Tell me what you mean. Uh, well, I think of. Um, it can be anything. It can be anything from, I think of uh, the scientific method as sort of step one is, is observation. Um, I think of that as sort of step one of journalism is observation. Do you adhere to a code of ethics? Uh, code of ethics. Um, we don't, we haven't published like a code of ethics, but we basically strive to follow uh, the uh, example of our, our big brothers and sisters in the mainstream media um, and, and how we cover things. Um, and we also have an editorial process. We don't, except the exception of live coverage, we actually, our videos go through an editorial process. Let me just give you a, a taste of this. Oh, God. Uh, these guys are walking into the face of a, a series of officers. Um, and this is still on their website. If you want to see more, this particular piece is on YouTube. Um, it's about nine minutes. Uh, I just want to say again, this is live on the web. Any idea how much traffic you're getting here? Uh, actually, I don't know offhand how much I was getting. Okay. Uh, I should clarify, one of, one of those people was live, um, Corinne, who you saw Corinne, there. right. She was live with a uh, Nokia phone and the um, other person was Oliver, who just had a tape camera. Okay. And I was actually taping as well from the bridge, so we ended up with three camera angles. Okay. Um, you consider yourself journalists? Yeah. When, when, when we're doing what's happening right here, we do that. And um, do they strike you as journalists? You know, I, I don't, I'm not a journalist. I don't have a real good sense of what you know, All the better, then. <laughs> well, I guess I would ask the journalists in the room to answer that question. We will. <laughs> <laughs> and you can choose who you are. <laughs> but I'm wondering, from your high perch, uh, and looking, looking down at the landscape of how we treat, um, was the mayor talking about him in his op-ed? I think the mayor was talking about people who were trying to tell a story. Um, and people who are, who say they are journalists. Is that yes? I think so. <laughs> okay. Is there anything else we need to know about you before we uh, take a couple of other examples here? Oh, well, this point that we're actually the folks that have the I Am The Media t-shirts. Um, oh. <laughs> and those two people were um, detained, uh, Corinne Oliver were detained, and uh, in this case, on Monday, the police said, anyone who was pressed, please stand up. And uh, they stood up and were released. What um, did you mean by those shirts, I am the media? And that didn't happen on, on Thursday. What did you mean by those shirts? Um, it's just, uh, I mean, just the concept that anybody can create and be the media. I mean, anybody can sort of be their own TV station, radio station, newspaper. Does that give you some special accents if you have that? Uh, increasingly, yes. <laughs> that sounds like a good thing. Oh, it is, yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, we've gotten, we were credentialed for the DNC. Um, we did not get credentialed for the RNC. You did? Okay. Yeah.
Hi, I'm uh, Dave Likens. I'm the National President of the Society of Professional Journalists. Hi, Dave. Thank you. Um, I wanted to address this issue of who is a journalist, and um, we, as an organization, we take a very broad view of it. Uh, we, we are reluctant to define it because we think that it leads us down this dangerous path of, of the government to, uh, licensing journalists, and we, we think that would violate the First Amendment. We don't even want to go anywhere near there. We think Chuck Olson and you know his his, his group uh, uh, gathering information and and disseminating to a mass media to me that's journalism. Um, the uh, you know as far as as journalists um, um, being arrested or not, if journalists break the law, arrest them. It let's you know we're not above the law. If you've got a, if you've got someone breaking the law, then we then. They should be arrested. Uh, we, we do think we should be allowed to uh, to do our jobs, and uh, we're we're grateful that uh, this uh, that the charges have been dropped in, in these cases here, and uh, we're glad that uh, we're having this discussion tonight, and we welcome uh, further discussion. Um, when you say um, you think you ought to be allowed to do your jobs, what yes. do you mean by that? I mean, well, so I mean, at these protests are in the arrests and the the, uh, the police stopping the protests or putting an end to it. That's news. The whole the whole thing's somebody's got to cover that. We've got to figure out a way to do that safely and legally, and and uh, so that, that that needs to be covered. And there's a great public interest in that. So we need to figure out how how to how this can be covered, so the police can do their jobs and the, the journalists can do theirs. 